What's up? So if you're like any other drummer out there, you probably spend a lot of money on drum stuff. You have to buy a drum set, you have to buy fancy cymbals, buy heads, hardware, you know, stupid chair to sit on. And you know, drumming is a pretty expensive hobby, but I got six tips to help you save some money. So the first tip is on drum heads. Now, when most people change their heads or if they break a head, they usually just throw it away because they have no use for it. But really, there's still a little bit of value left in them. So the ring of a drum head is either made out of steel or aluminum. So what you can do is cut off the head and be left with just the ring. And then you can take it to a scrapyard and they'll buy it off of you. So the price is going to vary depending on where you live, but aluminum is usually 80 cents to a dollar a pound and steel is only 10 cents. So really I only keep the aluminum ones. So to test if it's aluminum or steel, if it doesn't stick, it's aluminum. And if it does stick, it's steel. Tip number two. So moon gel can get pretty expensive. The cheapest I found it online was like six bucks, but they usually sell it for like seven. And then you gotta pay tax and shipping and all that stuff. But they're the cheaper option. So instead of using moon gel, you can find a gumball machine, pay 25 cents and get a sticky hand. Now I actually don't have one, but I used to use this on my snare. I, uh, I just cut off the little string <clears throat> and put the whole hand on my snare and that worked. So I'm pretty sure when you buy a new case of moon gel, you get five or six pieces in it. And either way, it comes out to around a dollar a piece for one moon gel. But if you find a gumball machine with sticky hands in it, you're going to pay it like 25 cents to 50 cents for one sticky hand. Number three. So one fad that's slowly going out of style is the use of bells. Now, I had a small Zill bell when I was younger, and I had a big one too. And I bought it thinking like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm going to use this all the time but I never did. But the other day I went to Goodwill and picked this up. Uh, it says it's two dollars but I got a half off and with a little modification you got yourself a little bell. Now this sounds pretty bad to be honest but if you find a bigger one it'll definitely sound better. Number four. So if you play Evans Heads you might have noticed these players points. And the way this works is you save up all these little, you know, tags and whatnot, and you can add up all the points. And then they have a list of all the stuff that you can get. And you send in all these things, and you just pay for shipping, and then they send you, you know, whatever you ordered. So if you want more information on this, just Google Evans Players Points, and you can find more information. Number five. Top ply of snare head brakes, rip it off. Now you have a perfect snare head for the bottom of your snare because it's super thin and yeah. Take it off and get all this other crap off and you got a perfect snare side snare head. And number six, drum roll please. <laughs> get it? So don't you hate it when this happens? Or this happens, or this, or this, or this, or, well, this, or even this. So, just like drum heads, you know, broken cymbals still have value. Pretty much all cymbals are made out of bronze, and depending on, you know, the alloy and the content of, you know, the actual metal, I can go anywhere from, you know, $3 to $5 a pound. So those are just a few little quick tips on how to save some money. Now, you're not going to get rich scrapping drum heads and cymbals. But, you know, every little bit counts. So, if you're also cheap and have found other ways to, you know, save money, be sure to leave it in the comments so other people can see and get ideas. But those are the tips, so thanks for watching.